hello friends uh, in this video we will go through uh, the sociology answer of rank 12 abhinav sivach um, he has scored uh, uh, around 276 marks in sociology if i am not wrong um, which is very good compared to uh, the kind of general performance that has been uh, experienced this year uh, let's take a look at this uh, question right away so as i said um, this uh, video editing presentation those transition animation logos and all we might not be very good at it but yes we are very good at guiding you for uh, uh, sociology anyway uh, let's take a look at the question um, discuss the impact of modernization on sexual division of labor in society again see it is a 10 marker question but it asks you to uh, interlink two topics modernization and division of labor in society both of them are syllabus topics it's just that it might be in uh, one of them in might be in paper one other one in paper two or vice versa or in the same paper it doesn't matter uh, you have to go for a uh, integrated approach of a study and that is why uh, we make sure that uh, um, our test series and answer writing programs they are designed in a way that uh, um, you go for uh, integrated study of both paper one and paper two for example if you read politics and society of paper one then we request you to read paper, politics and society of paper two so that you know the indian aspects of what you have read in uh, paper one uh, same topic and that helps you uh, establish a horizontal linkage between uh, the concepts that are divided across paper one and uh, paper two let's uh, uh, take a look at the question again discuss the impact of modernization on sexual division of labor in society so how modernization is affecting the sexual division of labor it is a 10 marker question around uh, 150 words you will be given um, 1.5 to 2 page sites to attempt this answer um, so abhinav starts off by uh, defining the term modernization and see this extremely beautiful representation um, there is a, a tabular kind of representation with two columns uh, Durkheim and Parsons and their work on modernization is explained here now so um, just imagine the impact this will have on uh, the evaluator of this answer so the evaluator tends to feel that okay um, the candidate knows how to go about this answer and how to articulate and present his or her point in a very lucid and easy to understand manner um, the body part of the answer um, it deals with uh, the different aspects uh, of uh, the impact of modernization on sexual division of labor uh, they are covered in bullet formats, point 0.1, point 0.2, etc. Um, the related thinkers, their works, uh, they are boxed. You can also underline them, not an issue. Um, the important term C, uh, limited to pink uh, collar jobs. So uh, many uh, students have this doubt that uh, it takes a lot of space when they write the view of a thinker so this is a very good approach so write the work limited to pink color and within brackets write the name of the thinker done no need to write according to this thinker uh, pink color jobs is limited to and all that nothing just write pink color jobs and the name of the thinker in bracket especially in 10 markers it is very handy and saves you a lot of time and space um, so these small small things make a lot of difference because um, uh, you get it on three hours and you have to attempt uh, 19 questions and uh, you cannot afford to give a lot of time to one particular answer and you have to try and save every single uh, minute that you can so that uh, you can do justice to all the uh, 
questions and not just uh, perform very good in a few and then um, not so good in others. So the different points are mentioned, the related data uh, it is also mentioned and the source is mentioned here. Um, so whenever you quote the data, do mention the source. Um, so this is a very good practice. And uh, again, towards the end, uh, the related thinkers like the Marxist view, uh, they are also uh, mentioned. And uh, to uh, the answer concludes uh, with a reference to uh, feminization and faulty modernization. So there are multiple ways of concluding an answer. This is one of the ways uh, uh, of concluding the answer. So if you want to go through the answers, the links uh, to the answer are given in the description box below. And in case of any query whatsoever, feel free to get in touch with us. Um, the contact details are mentioned in the description box. Uh, um, thank you so much and give your best. Make sure that uh, uh, when you read the newspapers, uh, uh, you um, also uh, look at the news through um, the lens of uh, sociology so that uh, you do gradually develop a sociological perspective which will help you in um, attempting the application-based questions in the actual exam. Again, um, any query about application, how to incorporate current affairs in your answers, feel free to get in touch. The links are uh, given in the description. Thank you. Thank you so much.